Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a carnivorous plant update. A lot of new stuff going on so I'm pretty excited to show you guys some of this stuff. And uh, right off the bat I'm going to start with my new Drosera Spiralis from Predatory Plants. It is awesome. It looks kind of like a Philoformis but it's just way more interesting. Uh, the leaves are a lot fuzzier, a lot more trichomes on the back as you can see. And it's just a wonderful plant. Let's see how close I can get into it. Was he going to let me do it? Yeah, it's awesome looking, isn't it? And then you can also tell it from filiform. Well, obviously it's different growing habits, but the leaves unfurl differently. They're kind of like balled up instead of curl up nicely like a frond of a fern. Look at that. It's awesome. I've been growing it in um, some just high quality New Zealand sphagnum moss with a little bit of live sphagnum on the top. And it's been doing really well. I've been putting ice packs next to it at night time. Um, keep it cool. Because I don't have a really nice system going yet. And there was one more thing. Yeah, it's, it's doing, doing pretty good. Um, there's it next to my hand. It's not huge, but I mean, it's like a... Still probably like one, two-year-old plant. Looking pretty good. I'm happy about it. I've been keeping it just in a bag. Uh, you know, that's how it is sometimes. This is the Drosera grumagolensis. Been doing really well. Really well. Looks good. Still has a little bit of burnt leaf tips, um, which I've... It's just, it's just like that. <laughs> I'm not really sure why. And then, um... This one has some dying leaves. These are like leaves from the beginning of the season. This is a Drosera hybridia. And it is doing very well. Um, putting up some new leaves. It looks bad now. Um, unfortunately, it did not produce any seed. I mean, I guess I'm not super surprised, but it's uh, Butterfly Valley, so it's supposed to produce seed, but I guess it does not. Uh, maybe it needs to be crossed with another Hybridia. I really don't know. Capensis. This one stays really small. Like, this Capensis has been the same size forever. It just gets tall, but it doesn't really grow out. So I'm not really sure why, uh, but it's very interesting. It's very nice for the terrarium, because uh, the other Capensis I have are probably going to fit in the terrarium shortly, but they're not in the terrarium anyway. Uh, Drosera scorpioides, that thing, still don't know what it is. All doing well. One of the scorpioides died off, but they're kind of old, so I'm not really uh, surprised. Um, Drosera pulchella, doing great. Looking amazing. Utricular biscomata, also looking amazing. Love it. Drosera slackii. Looking amazing. This is might be one of my favorite plants. It's just always happy. Um, it's getting kind of tall. I'm hoping it'll put out some offshoots soon. Another new plant is this Pinguicula granulifera. It's looking great. Um, it's a very large butterwort. I'm pretty happy about it. Uh, it came with some flowers. They kind of died. Um, but it's back there. I'm going to move it outside, but it's still been, it's been pretty cold recently. So, um, didn't want to risk it, because I mean, it got like 15 a couple of days ago, it's wet weather out here is ridiculous. But, um, and there's a couple other things I'm going to bring over here, because I had to turn the lights off, and it looks weird filming kind of dark. I mean, it is daytime, but... Not sure if you can see that, I think you can. Really nice antho-free Leucophila. There's like a little side view. But this plant is just a stunner. I really like it. One of the pictures got a little bit burned. But I'm, I'm enjoying this plant a lot. These are just the spring pictures too. And I'm imagining the fall pictures are going to be more spectacular. But it's a very enjoyable plant. And then, um, oh, what else is over here? Uh, cutting of the Binata doing well. Helium 4 is in there. Um, I'm not going to pull it out right now. It's, it's still looking the same as it always does. And then um, all the rest of the stuff over there is doing good. The large multi feeble extreme is okay. I like zoom into that really quick. Lights are off, so it doesn't look amazing. And then there's one more thing I wanted to grab. Let's see how that looks. In a second. Just got to move the camera. Another Saracenius pictured out. There's actually a couple that are pictured out. This one. Is I is an I don't know. I, I seriously have no idea what this one is. I think it's just a really green morii. Oh goodness gracious. 
There we go. You can kind of see it. It's really nothing special. It's just a, it's just a green moria. I mean, it's definitely a Lucophila flava. It's not anther free, but it's just I've had it under pretty intense light, and it's just green. So I don't really know what its problem is, but it's an interesting plant for sure. This picture just pops. It does not look its best. But this is a Saracenia flava. I'm sure you could tell. This is the extreme threat variety. Um, it's a little bit deformed. I'm hoping it'll straighten out because it's again not really an old picture, but it's just like a Rugelii. It's like the best of both worlds. It's like a Rugelii ornata kind of. It's not really focusing. Yeah, but that looks good. Um, it's a you know decently sized picture, I guess. It's not like amazing. Sorry, it's taking me so long, guys. All right. So now it's time to move on to some other stuff. I need to move this out of the way. Everything's kind of disorganized right now, um, but I mean, it's not really surprising. It kind of always is. So I'm going to move over here to all this stuff. Now, this is where the fun begins. This is where some of the really cool stuff is at the moment. So, first off, Saracenia Cetacina. Looking great. Super duper dark pictures. Um, a lot of binata. There's always binata in my stuff. It's, I don't mind it, but it's basically just a weed. So um, that's interesting. I not really interesting. It's just fun, I guess. Sundews. I like sundews a lot anyway. Uh, but yeah, it's looking looking really good. It's nice dark pictures. Deep red, purple, almost almost black on some of these. Um, Cirrusnia alata, looking okay. It's just seedling. It looks kind of crappy. Um, you can't really see all the pictures on it. it I don't know, it's not really too much to look at. But the one I am very excited about is this beauty. This is, wow, look how red that is. This is a freshly opened picture on it. This is the Saracenia Flava. Um, this is Atra Purpurea by Rubicorpora, California Carnivores. And it is red. This is just a freshly popped picture. But like, look at this thing. It's Atra Purpurea. This is not a Rubicorpora. But I mean, um, like, just, just wow. Like, look at that. There is not a hint. I mean, there's like a little bit of yellow on the lid, but it's just like, it's just glistening with nectar as well. It is just a seedling, so obviously its traits aren't fully realized yet. But it's going to be a red plant, because it's red. It's real red. So I'm happy about that. Um, and behind it is a Drosera capensis that got really big from a seedling. And then all the way behind that, you might be able to kind of see it a little bit. It's kind of like through a capensis field, but there's a gamme from one of my pygmy sundews, the unidentified one. It just like randomly produced gamme even though it didn't go dormant. I'm not really sure it's up with that. I did not think they were going to be viable, but two of them grew. There's a big one and a small one, so that's pleasurable. Man, this thing looks awesome, doesn't it? Yeah, but there, it's a, this is a really nice plant. It might be one of my nicest plants as far as just like overall quality goes I think this will turn into a really nice plant this is you know I only have two flava right at the moment I have a lot of mori eyes but this is definitely my favorite there's a new one there's the back of the old one or older one I just like look how red that is wow and then um if you go over here a little bit there is oh, I don't want to take it out I'm too lazy there is a is it gonna focus Saracenia, not Saracenia, I'm going crazy. It's a Drosera, uh, it's a woolly sundew. It's Drosera um, ordinan Ordinensis by Derbensis, I think. It's not going to focus at all, but it's in there. It's alive. It's doing great. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I uh, might do uh, some outside carnivorous plant stuff because I have a lot of Saracenia outside and they're just starting to come out of dormancy. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm glad you got to see some new plants and some really cool picture growth. I mean, like, look at that. I'm freaking out a little bit. It's probably not even like the nicest quality flava, but I think it's pretty awesome. I like it a lot. But, um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching the video, and I really do hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you next time.